Hey guys, so European Pro, also known as Spain Pro, we got the pre-judging done and this is your top 2 as expected, Nathan Diasha and Regan Grimes. So we got some pretty decent uh, footage from the phone and we got some really high quality photos. So let's check out, let's watch this show, by the time I post this you'll probably already know the results, the finals will probably be over, but I'm gonna give you my best guess and I think it's pretty clear who's gonna win this. Now first of all I gotta say, it's a much much closer battle than Italy. Regan definitely improved a lot and as you can see from the back I could say that he's beating Nathan. He didn't beat him in Italy. He definitely wasn't beating him then but now he might be superior in the back poses. The lighting is not really ideal here, the backdrop is also horrible and uh, the footage that we got isn't exactly high quality but if you take a look at his photos you will see that these guys are absolutely on, like they are really on both of them and Nathan is pretty much the same like he was in Italy because he can't get any better than that, that's him at his 100%. However Regan, Regan improved like 20-30% I would have to say, like he is more conditioned, he's drier, harder and also fuller and just much much better peak overall. From the front though, not as good as from the back, but front double is probably his weakest pose. Let's check out the others. So let's go watch this video and the photos and let's analyze this show. Actually, let's analyze the top two. So the front double bicep goes to Nathan without a doubt. It's not even close. I mean, the leg fullness. I mean, look at the adductors on Nathan. It's crazy. Much, much stronger, much more dominant than, than Regan. Also, like the biceps, the chest thickness the lats as well and the waist even the waist even the wee taper goes to nathan so he's absolutely killing regan in this one it's not even close really but it's not the case with all the poses now we are moving on to the front lat spread much closer in this one but again i would have to say it's it's nathan again probably the same reasons like the lag fullness i mean the adductors look at the adductors on nathan like how low they go crazy and just overall the details and the, and the fullness the thickness um, upper body it's much closer in this one but once again you know the fullness is on Nathan's side he's just this is just another level you know Regan is good he's improved and all that but I don't know man Nathan in these two shows looks like he can be like top six of the Mr. Olympia really I can see him beating Brandon Curry, I can see him beating uh, Hunter Labrada, I can even see him beating Andrew Jack because of the back poses. And we're gonna talk about that probably in a separate video, but right now Nathan Diasha is like, you know, really, really good. I hope he's gonna do the Mr. Olympia because he can do some serious damage over there. And as far as Regan Grimes, he can't compete against him, no. He can maybe contest him in the back poses, but everything else from the front... And also from the side, you know, it's not even close, really. Look at the side chest. I mean, here, like, even the legs, even the legs, even though Regan has crazy hamstrings, and maybe you can see that his hamstrings are a little bit bigger, a little bit, like, they, they hang a little bit lower, still, the, the quad, look at the side quad on Nathan, and just then take a look at the upper body, I mean, the shoulders, the arms, the chest, yeah, Nathan all day, man. And now they're gonna face the curtain, actually this, this horrible LED screen with uh, too many colors, way too many colors. Uh, now they're gonna do the back double, and as you can see, much closer, right? I mean, Regan is a bigger man, he has bigger frame, he just has a better back, like he has more muscle in those lats. Also, like, his back poses are good, not just because of his back, but because of the glutes and hamstrings as well. But maybe I would still say that Nathan is sharper to the glutes, like he has striations all over the glutes, Regan probably has only the, the, the side lines, but yeah, it's close, I would say, as far as conditioning, but as far as the back development, Regan, yeah. So now that Regan improved his conditioning as well, you could give this one to Regan, yeah, I would give it to him, so back double bicep. I give it to Regan, now we'll see the back lat spread, uh, as far as lower body of course is the same story, but let's see the upper body, the back itself. So once again, because of the, the, the sheer lat development, the, the, the size of the back, also like the width of the shoulders, the size of the man, you know, Regan is bigger and he has more muscle in the lats, so now that he's improved his conditioning and hardness and fullness and all that, yeah, he beats Nathan in the back lat spread, uh, even more so than the back uh, double bicep. So both back poses go to Regan. 
But is that gonna be enough, you know, for Regan to beat Nathan and win this show? That's only two poses, man. I mean, it's not enough. It's not enough to win a show. Yeah, I know, shows are won from the back, but not only from the back. If you lose everything else, you won't win a show just because you won two shots from the back. Uh, now, side tricep. This one is actually pretty good for Regan. I mean, I think he's controlling his midsection better. Nathan is again showing that thickness, that density to the shoulders and arms and chest. But this one is close. I mean, yeah, let's say it's a tie, whatever, for, for, for fun purposes. Now let's check out another aesthetic pose, abs and ties. And yeah, I would give this one to Regan. I mean, uh, last show, Italy, I would definitely give it to Nathan, even though this is kind of like Regan's pose because he's an aesthetic guy uh, and he has a really good midsection, you know, small waist. But Nathan was still winning it in Italy because of his conditioning, because his legs looked more detailed, uh, more, you know, full, hard, and also his abs looked more prominent. But now it's a different situation because Regan is just much better. And when Regan peaks, he can beat Nathan in the absent eyes. So let's say Regan wins three poses. Back double, back lat spread, absent eyes, side tricep is a tie, a front double bicep, front lat spread, side chest are Nathan's poses. And now let's check out the most muscular. Very close, very close, like this entire show, this top two, actually. Uh, Regan has more shoulder width, so he has a bigger frame, he looks very wide. Nathan looks a little bit more narrow, but, you know, just the density of, of Nathan's chest and legs and shoulders and everything, really. And this super, super crazy conditioning and fullness and hardness and everything. Yeah, once again, it's a much, much closer show than Italy. But I have to give it to, to, to Nathan for sure. I know Regan didn't win the Olympia qualification. And having him in that lineup would definitely promote the Olympia more. But I hope the judging will be fair. And uh, based on the photos, and I think these photos are really high quality. And I think it's pretty obvious that Nathan is still better. I mean, he already has a Mr. Olympic qualification. I don't even know if he's going to compete. He wasn't there uh, since 2018. He has legal issues. I don't know if he can even travel to the U.S., but he still wants to win these shows, to win the prize money, to have more uh, wins under his belt, stuff like that. But Regan just wants a Mr. Olympic qualification and Nathan is not letting him have it, <laughs> unfortunately for Regan. But if the judging is fair, I believe Nathan is going to win this show. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. And I also gotta mention Roman Fritz, who brought crazy conditioning, and I feel like he's beating everybody in that back double bicep because of those super shredded, ripped glutes, like crazy, crazy lines. I haven't, I had never seen that many lines on someone's glutes and hamstrings, and also the back also looks really separated, really lean. Uh, and also pretty big, like he has a big frame, he's a taller guy, so I think he's dominating in a back double bicep, however, he's in a second call out, and he's battling for third, and it's very close between him, Theo, and Tim Bodesheim, I haven't really analyzed the second call out uh, too much, but I'm a fan of Roman, I want to see him win, and I don't see why, why wouldn't he be a third, I mean, you can see right here, he looks shredded, and he looks pretty big and full, you know, for Roman, uh, Tio again looks really good. Uh, Tim and Budesheim as well. So it's pretty close between these three guys. But because of that crazy conditioning and, and lines and separations that, that that Roman shows from the back, I would give it to him just because of that freak factor. But once again, as far as Nathan versus Regan, you guys tell me in the comment section down below who do you have winning if the results are not out yet, and also who do you think should win? Like uh, if you don't consider the judging criteria, who do you prefer? Which physique do you like more? Maybe you like Regan's physique more, but the judges will probably give it to Nathan because I believe Nathan just brought like crazy level of... Oh, this is bodybuilding. This is bodybuilding. And once again, I believe this guy can do really well at the Mr. Olympia. I'll probably make a separate video about that topic alone. But whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to show me some appreciation, like next level, there is the link down below. You can click on it and browse the Old School Labs website. And if you need supplements or you want to try something new, like uh, Vintage Brown, for example, just make sure that you use the code EVEN, which will give you a 15% discount, and it will help me out a lot. So thank you guys so much for all your support. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For more stuff like this, subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys once again. All the best. See you soon, and bye-bye.